Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today, and this week I've been focusing on the temptations. We, we started with the kind of temptations that Jesus underwent inside the desert, inside the wilderness, but temptations aren't just for individuals alone, which is kind of the route I went with the first three days. Temptations are also about us as a group of people. In fact, the church, the church, the church faces so many temptations. One of the temptations is for us to think that we alone have the message, that, that we have it right and everybody else has it wrong. In other words, that we are the ones who have been entrusted and handed this gospel and nobody else understands it or gets it the way we do. So obviously we need to just tell them to stop. The disciples actually did this. In the Gospel of Mark, when Jesus sends out the disciples two by two, when they come back, one of the reports that they give to him is that, Teacher, we, we, we saw someone who was casting out demons and, 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 and doing miracles in your name, but we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Do you hear how horribly judgmental and exclusive and just arrogant that is? Jesus says, don't tell him to stop. No one can do a good thing in my name and then turn around and curse me in the same breath. In other words, when we as children of God, when we as the church start wrangling and disagreeing and thinking that we got it right on this side because that side's definitely got it wrong, maybe we need to humble ourselves. Maybe we need to humble ourselves before the Lord so that we can follow the temptation is to say that we got it right, that we've got it all figured out, that we know what's best. But that's not what the definition of being a disciple is. It's not having the right answers. Being a disciple is not uh, having the lessons learned and, and having it all figured out. Being a disciple is following Jesus, stumbling, struggling, discerning, going on a narrow path of grace and loving people who we disagree with rather than going the path of destruction that Jesus talks about, the broad path of blacks and whites, wrongs and rights, rules and regs. We are called to be better together as church. And a part of what it means to be church is to be disciples who follow Jesus who was up to so many things beyond what we think or even beyond us. God doesn't just work through my church or your church. God works through all the church and all humanity. And the sooner we learn that, the better off we'll be. We will be better together. Amen.